lesson is how to put on a crib strap. Um, some horses, unfortunately, have a neurotic habit called cribbing, and uh, they're not just chewing on wood, they're actually um, sucking in air. And it's not healthy for them, they actually can make themselves sick doing it. And so we try to prevent them from sucking in that air. They'll still probably chew and have that habit. Um, a lot of times horses uh, become cribbers because they've been in a neurotic situation where they're not outside enough um, to move around. Um, so just like weaving, some horses learn to crib. Um, it's a really obnoxious habit. So we acquired a little pony that has this habit. Um, and this by far is the best crib strap um, I've ever seen. Um, it has two straps, and then it has the little indent in the middle that's going to go into the throat. And I'm going to show you how to put it on. So why don't you come in here. This little guy is Finn. And you can see he has an obnoxious habit of cribbing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in. He, this only has knots because he's little, and I had to make it fit. So I'm going to start <laughs> by taking the back strap. Now it's faces. When you're putting this on, you want to make sure that this bottom piece is facing forward, OK, not backwards, because it needs to go into his throat. OK, so when I put this on, depending on the shape of his head, <laughs> I mean, or how he's holding his head, when it's up, it's going to be really tight. But you'll see as he drops his head, it becomes very loose. So I put on the back strap, and actually, he moved on me, so I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I make sure that this piece is right in the middle. And you can see it's going to hold his throat closed so he can't suck in the air. He can chew, but it's going to keep him from sucking, which is the part that makes them not feel well. Now the front strap goes in front of their ears and under their forelock, OK? And this is wonderful because it keeps the crib strap in place. Now when he bends down to gra graze, you can see it's really loose. It loosens right up so it doesn't interfere with their eating. So make sure that if they have a crib strap on, they're not having to eat way up high or get up and curve their head to drink or something really high. Oh, they're yeah. not having to put their head up really high to eat or drink because it'll be really hard for them to curve like this because, um, you know, it's a uh, it's digging right in. So it's loose when their head's down and he'll be in good shape. So I highly recommend that type of a crib strap um, because it'll stay in place um, and perform its job. So he'll be a good boy from now on. So that's it for uh, how to put on a crib strap. So good luck to you and happy riding.